Boston is home to some pretty rich history, and there's no exception of this when it comes to fire alarms. The first fire alarm system was developed in 1852 and installed in Boston, Massachusetts. This system consisted of fire alarm boxes installed in the city that were connected to a central station, effectively a telegraph system that was used to report fires. This was eventually patented by John Gamewell and the Gamewell Fire Alarm Telegraph Company was formed. Since 1852, fire alarm technology has changed rapidly with the invention of cellular networks and modern communication systems. Despite this, even today, Boston's historic fire alarm boxes are still standing on nearly every street corner, still protecting the city nearly two centuries later. Today we're going to be talking about the municipal fire alarm box, so let's dive right in. The idea of fire alarm boxes is inherently simple. Each box in a jurisdiction is marked with a unique number. If we look inside of a box, you see that upon activation, a wheel with that number engraved in it begins to spin, transmitting the unique box number to the fire alarm office. This informs the fire department as to the location of the emergency and a response is summoned. This diagram shows a very simple municipal fire alarm system. As you can see, boxes are placed at varying locations and transmit to a central office. This is the operation of a street box, one type of fire alarm box. Frequently though, you might also see fire alarm boxes mounted inside or on buildings, usually near the fire alarm control panel. These are called master boxes and they're more complex than street boxes. Master boxes serve as the connection between a building's commercial fire alarm system and the city's municipal or fire box system. A master box, if we take a look inside, has a trip coil that's triggered by the fire alarm panel. When the building fire alarm activates, this shunt trips the master box, which summons the fire department to that location. In this way, master boxes almost serve as redundant dialers. Some locations in Rhode Island are still using fire alarm boxes for this very purpose. Right next to each fire alarm panel, you'll find a blue game wall box that serves as a connection to the municipal fire alarm system. These boxes are painted black and usually blank, so they don't have a pull handle, per regulation. Boston also has a ton of fire alarm boxes mounted inside of buildings that transmit a signal to the fire alarm office. With the invention of modern technologies, fire alarm boxes have largely been phased out. The cost of maintenance, combined with the fact that these boxes are becoming less important, has led many cities to remove their municipal fire alarm systems. Still, some cities, like Boston, have kept these boxes around as a redundant emergency system that'll work even in the event the 911 system fails. Contrary to popular belief, Gamewell still manufactures these fire alarm boxes, and new boxes are still occasionally installed. Boston, of course, still has a functioning system, and other cities, like San Francisco, still have some functional fire alarm boxes left. These boxes remain the quickest way to contact the fire department in an emergency, and they work when other systems fail. In this situation, for example, a Boston resident used a fire alarm box to report a fire during a 911 outage. Now at 5 o'clock, a 911 outage across the state of Massachusetts and the country. In Boston, someone had to use an old school method to get help from the fire department. Just after 5 this morning, firefighters were met with heavy smoke pouring out of a building on Endicott Street in the North End. And it wasn't a 911 call that got them there. I give credit to the resident for knowing to pull that box. The firebox system dates back to 1852. It is independent from utility companies and will work in the event any system is down. Even though many jurisdictions have opted to keep their boxes, they are still becoming less and less common. Now that we have an understanding of how these boxes operate, let's talk about the different models and brands of fire alarm boxes. The most common type of fire alarm box today is undeniably the iconic Gamewell fire alarm box. These boxes are ubiquitous and almost symbolic. In fact, even the modern Gamewell logo, after the Honeywell acquisition, still features a master box. The modern style you see here was introduced in 1951, and this style here dates back to 1924. These older boxes are cast iron, so they're pretty heavy. Older cast iron telegraphs like this were produced in the late 1800s. There have also been several other companies who've made fire alarm boxes over the years. LW Bills, for example, has made a fairly popular fire alarm box that looks like this. Gaynor Electric, US Fire and Police, Horny, Federal Coded Alarms, Holzer Cabot and Star Electric are also among the companies that have, at one point, made municipal fire alarm boxes. This right here is a master fire alarm box. You can see it's mounted outside of this building and on top of it we have this red indicator light. This is not a strobe light that's attached to the fire alarm system. It's really just a steady light that's supposed to be on. Indicates the location of the uh, 
fire alarm box. This particular box is located in Framingham, Massachusetts, which is one of the only places left that still has a municipal fire alarm system. There are 949 boxes and 500 something of them are just boxes like this that are mounted on buildings, but pretty neat to see these around and definitely a very niche requirement. Here we are in the vestibule and as you can see, there is a game wall master box in here. This city requires these municipal fire alarm boxes. So this is tied into the building's fire alarm system. Perhaps you recognize this master box. This is actually the master box that's my profile picture, but this is a fire alarm box that's mounted outside of a Wendy's. And as you can see, it's recessed behind the surface and it serves as a tie between the fire alarm in the building and the municipal fire alarm system. Here in Boston, this is an example of one of the older boxes with one of these antique stained glass gas lights. You can see these ones are very unique looking and very historical. Most of the ones today are just the uh, red globe lights, which I'll show you now. This right here is an example of a fire alarm box with the traditional red globe light. These light up at night and it's really a part of the aesthetic. That's really cool. This right here is the game wall box that I own. As you can see, this is box number 5226. This master box was actually pulled out of a dumpster, but it still does operate. Here's the inside. When I got this box, it was missing the trip lever, which is probably why I was thrown out, but I machined my own, as you can see here. Unfortunately, it's missing the long arm, so it doesn't trip with the coil, but it still works when I pull the handle, and that's all I care about. Here's a demonstration. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed learning about these important pieces of history. The next time you're in Boston, take a look around and remember that those red fire boxes are ready to save lives no matter the time of day.